Well, I'm excited, uh, a bit overwhelmed and humbled to have been nominated for this award as uh, Canadian Pharmacist of the Year. Um, I found out that I was nominated last fall for the award and that a selection committee of the Canadian Pharmacists Association uh, selected me as the recipient in, in February. Um, I've been reflecting on why I was nominated for the award in the last 25 years, I've been involved in providing education to both undergraduate students and continuing education to pharmacists. I've worked the last uh, 12 years at the Breer Continuing Care Geriatric Day Hospital and developed a, a very, I think, innovative patient care practice that's very interdisciplinary in nature. and. Um, I've also um, developed a research program that I think is, is probably one of the main reasons for the award. And my research is focused on three main areas. One is uh, helping to guide the expansion of pharmacist roles in interdisciplinary patient care. Uh, the second is in looking at um, how we can think about stopping medications uh, for patients. There's a lot of research on how to start medications, how to follow guidelines, but very little work done on how to think about stopping medications, particularly in the frail elderly as they become older and may not require medications or maybe having adverse effects. And then the third area of my research has been uh, looking at um, education programs for pharmacists and evaluating the effectiveness of those programs, particularly uh, a recent online that education program that I have been involved in both developing and evaluating. I just really want to thank the staff at Breer Continuing Care and the Elizabeth Breer Research Institute for their support over um, the last several years and particularly um, I want to thank the patients in the Geriatric Day Hospital because they inspire me every day.